Okay. Well, I found mum and dad. Now I just need to find the shovel. I heard a dog. What's going on? What? On. What's happening? Alright. It doesn't sound like that's a friendly dog. Well, we found the shovel. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Mutt. But isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Yeah, he's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I want to bury my parents. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Easy, mate. What's going on? Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? So what are you doing? I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honour? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? Oh, really? You touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Well. He's a bit of a nasty so-and-so. Hey, Matt. Easy there, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore. I'm not planning on looting anyone. Alright. You're all good. You're all good, mate.
Teresa. Teresa here? La Bianca. Why? Not you. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Does she have anything that we could remember her by? Is it stealing? Goodbye, my dearest. Gotta go. I don't know my parents. Let's get to work. Our house survived for the most part. Well, it's here in structure at least. Though doesn't seem much like we left it. I wouldn't quite say that this is stealing, seeing as it's ours. I'll just take it. the keys. Well that's slightly unfortunate. But hopefully it means that no one else got what was in there. is this? Cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. Oh, that would be useful. I'm guessing that was mum's stash. That seems like a this good spot. A good You're gonna like it here. Hello, Mutt.
Sawyer. Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? It's Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. No. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. Wasn't quite sure how that was going to go for a minute there.
huh? Looks like we could be stuck with nightmares for some time to come. What? This doesn't seem like much fun. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. You need some help? Wake up, Henry. It's past all rise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I, I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. They were looking for me. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I need to uh, thank them at some point. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. 
everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. <laughs> 